Mushka, I guess just a final question is, mm. and you've been really honest and mm. vulnerable with yeah. us. Just to round, and you may have heard of this concept, I've been reading quite a bit about it, fetal microchimerism, which is the the scientific um, research that points oh. to the fact. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. Right from conception, mm. so from the moment of fertilisation as this little zygote becomes an embryo and then a fetus inside of you, so your little baby mm. is passing cells through to use their stem cells um, and those stem cells are restorative mm. so that if you get breast cancer later in life or liver disease, mm. that little baby's stem cells and when they try to make these same restorative stem cells in the lab, they can't do them anywhere near as efficaciously as the little babies that you've had, the two babies. Mm. And so even though you had an abortion and killed your two babies, they are in your body mm. right now. Yeah. Um, how do you feel? How do you live with that knowing? Yeah, I think honestly it's I found that out about two years ago and it broke me and I thought immediately everybody needs to know this because it just reinforces the incredible miracle that is life. It is so precious, you know, and I watch a lot of biology stuff and even the whole procedure to get to fertilization and from fertilization and what happens in the womb and the de human development, the stages of it in the womb. And it's so profoundly magnificent to call motherhood anything but a blessing, despite your circumstances, despite how that baby was conceived is, is just heartbreaking because it is so glorious. Mm. And it is very confronting to know that their lives and and it but it makes sense you know abortion is so unnatural it's a forced forced removal of that life from the mother it's not a miscarriage it's not a natural mm. loss of that life it's a forced one